Hello to everyone. In this video, we will be seeing the topic of hemodynamic disturbances in metal stenosis, so as in disease of heart, okay, uh, valvular disease. And first of all, what is metal stenosis? So, metal stenosis is narrowing of your space between the left ventricle and atrium, okay. So, this is a narrowing of your space between the two chambers of the heart that is our, that is our left ventricle and atrium. So, what do we understand by term hemodynamics? Hemodynamic meaning is that how the heart pumps the blood throughout the body. So, meaning of hemodynamics is simple. Now, key elements of hemodynamic system we have we have to know the heart rate, stroke volume. Stroke volume meaning is that volume of blood ejected in one contraction. So, if the heart is contracting, so how much blood is being ejected after one like if the chamber is contracting like this, so blood is pushed to the another chamber like from one uh, left atrium to left ventricle so how much blood is uh, ejected from that chamber to other chamber it's called that stroke volume we have cardiac output systemic vascular resistance and blood pressure so average stroke volume is we have is 75 ml and heart rate is our 70 times so we'll multiply that we will get the cardiac output okay approx it is 5600 ml okay 5 liter approx equal to the total volume of blood in the body so it is about, uh, about the amount of blood which you have in the body it is equal to that your cardiac output now cardiac output is the measure how efficiently the heart can move blood throughout the body so cardiac output tells us the efficiency or accuracy of the blood pump throughout the body by the heart now how do, how does the heart pump blood around the body and what does it normally consist of now uh, now basic if you say about the blood flow of the heart now right ventricle actually sends blood to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries first of all and while left ventricle sends blood through the outer to the smaller vessels and from them to the organs okay and to tissues and to whole organs so this is the main mechanism you will see the in the process of uh, that is the circulation of heart blood circulation of heart now in heart we have four valves if we see we have metal wall that is also called as bicuspid valve which we are discussing tricuspid aortic and pulmonary valve so these four valves we see in this heart okay now we have what are the heart valves for what are the basic uh, need of heart valves in our body so valves of the heart prevent the backflow of the blood and they open and close depending on the contraction of the chambers of the heart so the main function of this valves are to prevent the backflow of the world blood like one contraction has been done and blood has been pushed to other chamber so they actually prevents the backflow from that chamber to the chamber from which the blood was ejected okay now general information about metal stenosis we will discuss the same some basics about uh, metal stenosis so being uh, cause most common cause for this metal stenosis is rheumatic fever of heart okay causes of this rheumatic fever can be congenital stenosis of metal valve tri uh, atriatum calcification sle systemic lupus erythematosus rheumatoid arthritis infective endocarditis so these are the disorders you can see in this and uh, your metal stenosis occurs in about 40 percent of all patients with rheumatic heart disease so patients who are suffering from rheumatic heart disease have the chance of development of metal stenosis 40 percent and rheumatic uh, metal stenosis as a chronic inflammation leads to a diffuse thickening of the valve leaflets with formation of fibrous tissue and calcific deposits now let's see some images of metal stenosis so in this diagram you can see as i told you so you can see this image this calcification deposit in the metal valve you can see it here and this physiology you can see as the valve here will become narrower and this is actually a right atrium this is your right ventricle okay this right ventricle right atrium. so from right atrium blood is pushed to right ventricle and if the, this valve will become narrow then pressure will increase in this chamber okay as you can see and metal stenosis pictures it look like you can say it look like the mouth of the fish as it is written here fish mouth so its opening is looking like fish mouth in metal stenosis okay and commonly due to the rheumatic heart disease so you can see in this image also metal valve is not fully it is fully open normal valve here you can see narrowing of the valve here so this is narrowing okay now tendons called merge and shortens valve leaflets becomes rigid there is calcification of stenotic metal valve contributes to the immobilization of leaflets okay this much is clear now normal hemodynamics of, hemodynamics of left side of the heart the heart where the metal valve is present now blood enters from left and atrium from pulmonary vessels as i shown you in the image okay so as you can see this here oh sorry so in this image you can see it here as the blood is from left atrium this is this is mm -hmm. 
clouds. You can see this here, 25. You can see the pressure here, and from this is actually your left atrium, and this is your left ventricle. So from here, the blood is pushed to left ventricle. Okay. Now let's read some first theory here. From pulmonary vessel, it is pushed into left atrium, then through open mitral valve. Mitral valve is opened, located in the atrioventricular orifice, and enters the left ventricle from it into aorta. and then to the other systemic circulation okay so is it is shown in this image you can see this is normal image you can see this is right left atrium okay 10 pressure is 10 mg and after pushing mitral valve opens this mitral valve here and pressure is 120 by 10 in left one this is normal okay if now we'll tell we we'll discuss about the abnormality that is a mitral stenosis of the cell now aspects of hemodynamics in mitral stenosis is area of the mitral valve opening is 4 to 6 cm normally but in obstruction decreases to 2 cm square 4 cm 6 cm square in mitral stenosis it becomes 2 cm so so less so narrow it becomes now but uh, blood can flow from left atrium to left ventricle only due to an abnormal increase pressure gradient okay so as you as as, as in this line it is clear by see you can see normal pressure was 10 and if mitral stenosis is there this pressure will increase in the left atrium to push the blood from left atrium to left ventricle so this is basically the hemodynamics you will see in this case normally it will go if the valves are normal if the valves have calcification mitral stenosis narrow has occurred then left ventricle has to put more pressure to eject the blood from left atrium to left ventricle so that because of that there is increase in pressure in left atrium and opening is reduced less than 1.5 cm severe multiple uh, severe mitral stenosis occurs left atrial pressure pressure is about 25 mg as i shown you and is required to maintain the cardiac output so we need 25 mg to maintain the cardiac output to deliver the blood to the other systemic organs now there is left atrium increase size also as a compensatory mechanism there be hypertrophy there is increase in mass of your life uh, atrium due to the increased muscle mass if cannot cope up then there is stagnation of blood and increased load on left atrium so if, if not able to push the blood then there can be stagnation of blood in the left atrium and which can lead to load on the left atrium now mitral stenosis can lead to pulmonary hypertension how so reverse blood flow from overloaded left ventricle so left ventricle will also become overload blood will go from left ventricle to uh left atrium and because of that their pressure will increase in the pulmonary arteries because blood is coming from pulmonary artery to left atrium and there will be increase in pressure and reflex narrowing of pulmonary artery arterioles will occur due to blood stasis in the left atrium and pulmonary veins and this is called as catabs reflex and there is edema in small pulmonary vessels also fibrous thickening in the walls of alveoli we can see pulmonary capillaries lung capacity decreases lung capacity meaning vital capacity and total lung capacity of the lungs will decrease as there is narrowing in the pulmonary arteries so in this you can see here okay you can see this diagram also you can see valves in the chronic rheumatic heart disease so this is valve leaflet thickening shortening fusion of tendons as i told you it will get become rigid calcific deposits and it will just look like fish mouth in mitral stenosis it will become so narrow that blood cannot eject from left atrium to left ventricle and blood will accumulate in the left atrium and pressure will increase okay and this i shown you this one more image you can see it here this is the pressure gradient you can see left open normally pressure increasing volume is increasing elevated pulmonary right heart pressure this is case of mitral stenosis and because of it do not open completely murmur occurs in ventricular diastole so not a mitral valve increases resistance to blood flow into the left ventricle so there is resistance to uh, blood flow to the left ventricle so this is your left ventricle here clear now in severe severe pulmonary hypertension leads to light ventricular enlargement left uh, atrium will also uh, left atrium left uh, atrium will enlarge and because of that uh, due to uh, increase pressure in left ventricle also there will be in in enlargement of right ventricle also so because of the increase in the pulmonary hypertension the pressure will increase in lungs so because of that there will be increase in enlargement or compensatory mechanism in the right ventricle so right ventricle hypertrophy will occur second degree tricuspid regurgitation and respiratory failure so this severe pulmonary uh, hypertension is a complication of mitral stenosis that can further lead to increase in right ventricle tricuspid second degree tricuspid regurgitation respiratory failure so these are a complication after development of pulmonary hypertension and patient during the exercise uh, can develop the deficiency of oxygen in patient with very severe mitral stenosis less than 1 cm of the valve narrowing becomes 
it is increased pulmonary vascular resistance uh, resistance and this can lead to heart failure that is heart cannot pump the blood okay as there is risk of thrombosis as there is calcium soaked metal valve contributes to the formation of blood clot and patient with atrial uh, blood clot formation is there as calcium deposit is there thrombus will form okay in metal valve and patient with atrial fibrillation arises with dilated left atrium and this occurs in life uh, mild patients so patient who are suffering from atrial fibrillation arises dilated left atrium mild and this due to this there is very less type of and this occurs in mild patients okay so this was your hemodynamic disturbance i think it is clear thank you